Hey guys, just Calm Collie with Studios here, back with another El Toro update. This is more than likely going to be the final El Toro update, at least for this round of repairs during the 2022 into 2023 off season. And of course, can't really see too much yet, but it looks like they do still have that thing on the lift hill. I assume that is the cable wound up where you can see that blue sort of circular shape. And then below that is a plank of wood likely for a gauge test. Other than that, I can't really see anything too different. When we get a little further up on the Skyway, we'll be able to see if that track is still missing from the bottom of the turnaround. But as I've said throughout, I'm very excited to see what they wind up doing to El Toro. I really anticipate these repairs making a big difference in making El Toro much smoother, much more reliable, and overall much more enjoyable ride. You can see over there that the track on the bottom of the first Camelback has definitely settled in in terms of color. It doesn't look quite as fresh because it's been weathered a little bit with all the rain we've got. Over here at the bottom of the turnaround, we can see the track is still missing. This means that they're still working on retracking that section, which is good to see. Very excited because that was honestly, in my opinion, one of the rougher parts of the ride. And it's good to see that part of the ride getting some attention. Over here, I'm not seeing anything new in terms of missing track, but of course we do see that coil on the bottom of the lift hill, but we will be able to see more on the return trip in just a moment. Back up we go, another good view of the track missing at the bottom of the turnaround. Actually a really good view, you can see exactly where the track cuts off. Looking back over here, going through a full an analysis of the ride's layout, we can see of course that track is still missing at the bottom of the drop. I really wanted to look up here. From Nitro, there were some shining parts in the middle of the drop, looked like the sun was catching it just right. So it's possible they put some steel in the middle of the drop. Up at the top, that piece of track, very hard to tell from here, but it does look like it still needs a little bit more work. That was the piece of track that was wrapped a couple weeks ago. Now it is unwrapped. Looking over on the other end of the ride, can't see it quite yet. The tops of the airtime hills are still the same. Everything else that we've seen throughout all the updates is still the same. Rolling Thunder Hill is still the same. We can't see the twister section from up here. We're just too far away in the wrong position. But as far as I can tell, I have assumed that that track segment, the left rail going into the Rolling Thunder Hill is still missing. You see a little bit of Toro's twister section right there. I'm not seeing anything new over there. They did some repairs during the 2022 season to that section of the ride. But over there, it's looking like that left rail is indeed still missing. So I assume that will also be retracked. But that is going to do it for the final El Toro update. Again, assuming it opens on opening day. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon to Hollywood Studios.